So here we are at the Savage Mill Mall. Yo, this is in historic Savage, Maryland. And this is the historic Savage Mill. This is an old mill building that goes all the way back to the 1800s. Wow, that's pretty impressive. And over time, it's had several different incarnations. And the most modern incarnation, which is relevant to our interests, is there's a mall inside. Pretty darn beautiful shopping mall, I gotta say. Yeah, we've already kind of taken a sneak peek indoors and everything, so let's go see what's inside, shall let's we? Let's go check it out. You're gonna like this one. Yeah, this is nice. Make sure you get a zoom in on the cool plaque there. Yeah. 1985 is the last time this place was renovated. Should give you a hint as to why I like this place. Oh. By the way, this was placed on the National Register of Historic Places, so that's oh, nice. a good thing. That means they can't. That's a very good thing. They can't damage or knock this place down. You can't get some sl <laughs> slumlord in here and beat it up a little bit. You know? No, no, this is protected. This is a treasure. This is one of Maryland's treasures. Look at this place. Yeah, this is the kind of content you're probably not going to see on very many, very many mall channels. Not really. <laughs> I mean, there's so much wood in here that it smells like wood. Yeah, it's like I wish that we had smell o vision so you could just smell this gorgeous <laughs> wood smell coming out of the um, the floors and the ceilings. Take a look across there. This is fabulous, and it's like downstairs. There's a live guitarist. There's no piped-in music here. <laughs> mm -hmm. Even got ceiling fans up there. Yeah. Which is good because it feels like there's not much going on in the way of HVAC in here. <laughs> oh no, it's, it's, it's a little warm in here. It's a little warm, but it's worth it. <laughs> it's definitely worth it. Well, this place. I had no idea what to expect, but there's a lot of people here. We could never had a tough time finding a parking space. Yeah, but I mean, it's kind of understandable because it's like it's one of these places that you know you have like a lot of like local artisans and you know people honing their craft and selling things and. Oh, it's it's very artsy. Yeah, I gotta say. It's absolutely gorgeous, though. There's not much to this main building here and everything. This was like the uh, main manufacturing part. Yeah. There's a lot of the tourists I was um, referencing before. Beautiful. And it's wood floors, top and bottom. As a matter of fact, this is actually like two distinct malls jammed into one. And, yeah. when, we, and when we get into the other section, the floors are so old they creak underneath you. Yes, but it's absolutely lovely. This whole complex is just fascinating. And it's like all the signs and all the sort of directional things tell the story of what used to be here. Yeah. And it's actually really, really phenomenal. Get a nice look across here before we go downstairs. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Yeah. Like I said before, there's a lot of people here, so I may have to turn the camera off if we get into an area that's way too dense. I just don't want to be pointing the camera at people, you know? Nice to have some live music, huh? Absolutely. 
Look at this little seat they got here. That's cool. See that little, little round seat there? Mm -hmm. It says everything is five dollars. They got some nice looking shirts in there too. It's called Charity's Closet. That's it. Yeah, everything is five dollars, please. Oh, okay. Now here's a here's the start of the directory here. Right here, this, this building, that's where we are right now. And there's still a bunch more to go. This place is a lot bigger than I thought. Hey, you got paper directories, that's nice. Keepsakes. They got a fencing club here. Savage fencing club. That sounds fun, doesn't it? Yeah. Go poke each other with swords. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we're gonna make our way down to the other side of the uh, mall. It's very, very different. Yeah, there's a whole another section that we've gotta get to, so let's do it, shall we? Let's do it. <laughs> Check this out. Some historical stuff. Looks cool. like it might have even been a car from the original mill or something. Who Maybe, knows? who knows? Now it says the mill cafe, but I don't think it's here. Where is this place Where is that? Now this, this just wraps around. You got a big seating area back here. I get a feeling that either this used to be a cafe or it's going to be a cafe. This just, this just wraps around in a circle. There's really nothing to look at over there. Nice architecture though, isn't that cool? Well, architecture is just an old mill, right? <laughs> yeah, cool. It, it, it kind of has an outlet feel because of the way the shop's constructed. You know what I mean? Like you're at, at like a farmer's market or something. Yeah. That's a good yeah, it's pretty neat. This is the, the old weave building. It's very loud in here because a lot of people. Now they got carpeting in here. Yeah, there's a nice specialty bridal store there. Yeah, this is all like specialty shops and artsy things, you know. And they got a wine tasting thing up here. Over um, on the other side here, we have a antique furniture store. And it's a cute little doggo. Look at the dog. It's a doggo. Hey. <laughs> The great room. Events that make history. Yeah, so the back of this when we have an open house. We have an open house to the right. There's a lot of people there. I was trying not to stick the camera in his face, you know what I mean? It's kind of difficult in a space like this, but now, down on the on the floor below they got a they got a tavern down here. I don't know if you can see in there. But then they got a little like loft area up top. The loft area does not appear to be open. I think that's probably later on. But it, these are those old floors though, so I'll come out. Yeah, check out the cool like, display cases and stuff here. Oh, those? Yeah. 
gives you a little idea of what kind of stuff to expect here. <laughs> Quite a bit of contrast when you cross that threshold. It's quiet in here because there's really nothing going on over here, you know? Yeah, there's a few like specialist kind of services and such. There's even like an insurance office in one of the other wings. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear it, but the floor is cracking beneath us. Yeah, the floor is very wood and very creaky. But it kind of adds to the charm. Yeah, it definitely. It kind of lets you know how old this place really is. But yeah, there's nothing really back here going on. Like, there's a lot of little spots. Like, you can see there's a, this is like a, a yeah, hair and beauty salon back in here, but they're not open. And you have a, you have a, a waxing place. You have boutiques over there, you know. It just kind of dumps out into an office back there. It doesn't really go anywhere. But this is a really cool space. And I have to say, I'm pretty impressed with this. It's creaky. Very creaky. <laughs> Be careful. <laughs> oh, I'm not unnerved. This place has been around for longer than either of us have. Mm hmm <laughs> And it will be here even longer. So we got just another little hallway back here. Well, it was such a hallway, but just kind of goes to... And just a few more things. They're all closed. But, yep. you know. This gives you an idea, though. <laughs> At least he saw it. Yeah. And again, this just kind of like takes you to some bathrooms. and There's that dive bar and grill thing back there. Yep. Here, um, here's some more history stuff. Check it out. The carding building. I'm pretty sure that's where we are right now. Yeah, that's exactly where we are. Alright, so we gotta snake our way back the other way. So I think there's one more wing back here. And maybe something else. I think that's about it, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Now there's some, there's some more stuff outside, I think. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna say see you later, and we'll see you in a minute. Yep. See you on the flip. Now this has nothing to do with retail or anything like that, but. Is right next to this historic Savage Mill mall area. I figure, figure we come out here and just take a walk across this cool old bridge. It's a, built by B and O Railroad Company, 1869. Yeah, obviously the rail line that used to run through here is no longer. Oh yeah. Functional. It's like you can totally see probably it. Probably decommission this it just, time back. It just ends right there, you know. But it, but it used to run alongside this. Let's take a walk over the bridge, shall we? Over to the side here, there's some um, oh, more history stuff. Some plaques and whatnot on the stone over here. National Historic Civil Engineering Landmark. Bowman Trust Railroad Bridge. Well, that's cool. So it's, a, it's also a historic landmark. You can't knock this down. Nice. This crosses a nice little creek over here. I think, but if I remember reading correctly, this is part of the Little Patuxent River. Little Patuxent. Well, there's some kind of structure that used to be over there. Only, only part of it remains. I don't know what that is. It's pretty neat. 
Oh yeah, there's actually, um, if you walk around this whole like complex and stuff down into the woods, there's some ruins and stuff from some of the old buildings that were associated with the mill. Ancient ruins, that's cool. But yeah, I think that's gonna about do it for the Savage Mill Mall. What do you think? Yeah, I think that we've covered a decent amount of it, you know, and... There's, there's a couple of other little hallways, but they have nothing in them, and they look exactly the same as the, the few we showed off. Yeah, this is a great old railroad bridge, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I like this a lot. <laughs> hey, they, they got a marker up here. Check it out. Bowman Iron Trust Bridge. You were right. The Little Patuxent River. Yeah, I like to try to do at least a little research. <laughs> there we go. I hope that shows up in the camera. And here's some more like historic stuffs. Yeah, your typical little markers and placards here. Baltimore Region Trail, a house divided. You're gonna get a rock. Always gotta have a roll rock, right? All right, let's come back to it. Savage Mill, historic Savage Mill. What did you think? Did you like it? I absolutely loved this. This was something really special and really different. Yeah. It's something I've been wanting to do for a while now, and it's just that, you know, plans just haven't worked out for it. But today, everything just shook out like it was supposed to. Mm hmm. This is worth a three hour drive. Totally. So, on behalf of Raw and Real Retail, this is Heather saying thanks for watching and thanks for joining us on this really cool and interesting tour of the historic Savage Mill. Yeah. Now a mall. <laughs> yep, that was pretty fun. Yeah, this is this is definitely the kind of content that you're not gonna see in many places. It's triple R over now. So on Google, this place has a 6 p.m. closing time. That's a lie. Here we are, after hours in the Wood Mall. Yeah, this is really super cool. I'm not sure if this place closes at all. I bet you it closes at midnight when the bar closes. <laughs> okay. You remember how you were mentioning that there used to be a service here? Yeah. Here it is. Oh no shit. Look at that. There's a picture on the wall. Reflecting that part of this place's history. 1948, they had a one-ring circus in this mall. That it, is super cool. Isn't that neat? One cool thing over here that uh, I missed when we did our video earlier. Check this out.
they have these tiles that spell out the name of the mall here. I think that's super cool. That's a classy touch. I like that. I don't know if you can tell, but I really enjoyed our time here. We've been here for hours. Just poking around. I love how we're getting a little bit of the nighttime vibe from this place. That's cool, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> You got a bunch of youngsters up there running laps. <laughs> Enjoy.